Title, Travis Kelsey utterly dumbfounded after Taylor spills bomb in disaster interview. It was a sunny afternoon when Travis Kelsey sat in his Kansas City apartment, flipping through channels, trying to find something to watch while resting his legs after practice. Life had been going well for the star tight end. His season was on fire, and things with Taylor Swift had been smooth sailing, or so he thought. He knew Taylor had an interview scheduled today, and he was excited to hear her talk about her tour and upcoming album. Suddenly, the sports channel shifted to a breaking news bulletin, Taylor Swift drops bombshell in shock interview. Travis's heart skipped a beat. What could she have said? He grabbed the remote and cranked up the volume. The screen showed Taylor sitting on a plush chair, facing an interviewer whose expression was frozen in disbelief. Travis's gut tightened as Taylor smiled at the camera, clearly unaware of the storm she was about to cause. So, Taylor, the interviewer began hesitantly, there's been a lot of buzz around your relationship with Travis Kelsey. Care to shed any light on how things are going? Taylor chuckled nervously, brushing a loose strand of hair behind her ear. Well, you know, I wasn't really planning to talk about it, but... I guess now's as good a time as any. The interviewer leaned in, intrigued. Oh, yeah, Taylor continued, Travis is, amazing. I mean, he's just so much fun. We've had some really great times together, but... Travis felt his stomach drop. But, he sat up straight, leaning toward the TV, eyes fixed on Taylor. But the truth is, Taylor said, her voice growing more serious, our lives are just so different. It's been hard to really connect on a deeper level. The interviewer blinked, clearly not expecting this twist. Are you saying? Taylor nodded. Yeah, I think it's time we go our separate ways. It's just one of those things. No hard feelings. We just realized we're at different points in our lives. Travis stared at the screen, utterly dumbfounded. His phone started buzzing non-stop with texts and calls from teammates and friends. But he couldn't tear his eyes away from the television. The interviewer's jaw dropped. Wow, that's, unexpected. Taylor, unaware of the shock she had caused, tried to smile. I know, right, it wasn't easy, but sometimes you have to make tough choices. Travis's mind raced. He thought back to their last date. They had laughed, joked about upcoming games, and shared stories about their childhoods. How had this come out of nowhere? He fumbled for his phone and called Taylor. Straight to voicemail, his head spun. This was not how he imagined finding out about their breakup. The sports world erupted. Analysts were speculating on the fallout of Travis Kelsey's personal life impacting his performance on the field. Headlines blared across the screen. Taylor Swift calls it quits with Kelsey during live interview. Fans took to social media, crafting memes and gifs faster than Travis could process the situation. Inside his apartment, Travis sat in stunned silence. He didn't know what to feel. Confused. Angry. Heartbroken. Was it all a misunderstanding? Suddenly, his phone buzzed again. This time, it was his agent. Travis, buddy, his agent started cautiously, we're going to have to do some damage control. The media's eating this up, and they want your response. Travis rubbed his face, still in shock. I, I don't even know what to say. His agent paused. Maybe start by talking to Taylor. Figure out what's really going on. Travis nodded, though his heart felt heavy. This wasn't just a PR mess, it was personal. And the worst part, he was the last to know. The interview ended with Taylor cheerfully thanking the audience, while Travis stared at the TV, still trying to wrap his head around the bomb she had just dropped. His phone buzzed again. Title, The Disaster Interview. Travis Kelsey had always prided himself on his ability to handle any situation thrown his way. On the football field, he was a maestro, commanding attention with every play. Off the field, he exuded charisma and charm, captivating audiences and fans alike. But nothing could prepare him for the day of the infamous interview with Taylor Swift. It all began innocently enough. The NFL season was in full swing, and Travis was basking in the spotlight. The Kansas City Chiefs had been performing well, and his budding friendship with Taylor had taken the media by storm. Fans were delighted to see them together, and the tabloids had taken their romance to another level. Amid the buzz, they were invited to an exclusive live interview on a popular talk show. As the cameras rolled, Travis sat next to Taylor, who looked radiant in a shimmering dress that perfectly complemented her personality. 
The host, known for their probing questions, wasted no time diving into their relationship. So, how did you two meet? They asked with a sly smile. Travis, ever the smooth talker, launched into a light-hearted story about a charity event where they had crossed paths. Taylor chimed in, laughing, and the chemistry between them was palpable. The audience was engaged, and everything seemed perfect until the host decided to change the tone. So, what's the real deal? The host leaned forward, eyes twinkling with mischief. Are you two planning on taking it to the next level? Travis felt a knot form in his stomach. He wasn't ready for that question. But before he could respond, Taylor, always the candid one, took a deep breath. Well, actually, I've been thinking about it a lot, she said, her voice calm yet filled with a tension that seemed to electrify the room. Travis glanced at her, a mix of confusion and intrigue painted across his face. What was she talking about? Did she really want to go there live on air? Then came the bombshell. I think we should definitely consider a duet, she said, her eyes sparkling mischievously. I mean, I've been wanting to write a song about a football player, and who better than Travis? The host's eyebrows shot up, clearly not expecting such a bold declaration. Travis, however, was utterly dumbfounded. He blinked, his mouth slightly agape, trying to process what just happened. A duet, in front of millions. The implications were monumental. Uh, wow, a duet, he stammered, his mind racing. He could picture it. A catchy pop anthem about love, football, and maybe even a bit of playful rivalry. But would he really do it? Did he want to be the subject of Taylor's lyrical genius? Taylor, sensing his hesitation, giggled. What do you think, Travis? Are you ready to take on the world of pop music? I mean, I'm a football player, he replied, half laughing, half serious. Can I really handle that kind of spotlight? The interview had taken a turn, and Travis felt as if the ground had shifted beneath him. The room was buzzing with energy, and the audience was loving every second of it. But he couldn't shake the feeling of being utterly out of his depth. Come on, it'll be fun, she urged, her enthusiasm infectious. We'll take it to the Super Bowl halftime show. Travis couldn't help but laugh, but deep down, he felt a mixture of panic and excitement. This was more than just a casual chat. The prospect of becoming a pop star alongside Taylor Swift was enough to make any man's head spin. As the interview wrapped up, Travis left the studio in a daze. His mind was racing, and he couldn't decide whether he was thrilled or terrified at the thought of sharing a stage with Taylor. As he stepped outside, he was met with a flurry of cameras and reporters. Travis, what do you think about the duet? They shouted, title, the interview incident. Travis Kelsey was used to the spotlight. As one of the NFL's star tight ends, he had navigated press conferences, interviews, and media scrums with a certain level of charisma and charm. But today was different. Today, he was preparing for an interview with his girlfriend, Taylor Swift, a pop sensation and media darling in her own right. The interview was set to be broadcast live from a cozy studio, with a friendly host guiding the conversation. The couple had talked about it over dinner, excited about the chance to share their relationship with fans. But Travis didn't know that Taylor had a surprise in store, one that would leave him utterly dumbfounded. As the cameras rolled, Taylor looked radiant, her smile captivating the audience. Travis sat beside her, feeling proud but a bit nervous. The host asked them light-hearted questions about their relationship, their shared interests, and their busy schedules. They laughed, shared stories, and seemed at ease. Then, things took a turn. The host posed a question, Taylor, what's the craziest thing you've done for love? Travis leaned in, intrigued by her answer, but he was about to be blindsided. With a twinkle in her eye, Taylor replied, well, Travis once made me a romantic dinner, which turned out to be a complete disaster. He thought he could cook, but he almost burned down his kitchen. The audience erupted in laughter, and Travis felt a mix of embarrassment and amusement. Hey now, he chuckled, I think I've improved since then. But Taylor was just warming up. But that's not the best part. One night, after a game, Travis was so excited about our date that he thought it would be a good idea to surprise me by showing up at my apartment unannounced, in a full mascot costume. Travis's eyes widened, and he almost choked on the water he was sipping. What? You can't be serious! He exclaimed, trying to mask his disbelief with a laugh.
Oh, I'm completely serious. He was dressed as a giant cheeseburger. She continued, unable to suppress her laughter. He knocked on my door, and I thought it was a prank. I nearly called the cops. The audience was in stitches, and Travis could feel his face burning. He thought this was a sweet moment to share, not an expose of his most embarrassing moments. He looked at Taylor, his jaw dropped in disbelief. Taylor, that was supposed to be our secret. He said, half joking but also genuinely surprised. He couldn't believe she'd bring this up in front of millions of viewers. As the laughter died down, the host tried to steer the conversation back on track. So, Travis, do you have any crazy stories about Taylor? Travis seized the moment, determined to flip the script. Well, I don't know about crazy, but there was this one time she tried to teach me how to dance. Let's just say, my two left feet didn't fare well against her rhythm. Taylor's laughter rang out, and she shot back, hey, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. The interview continued, but the damage was done. Travis couldn't shake the feeling of shock mixed with amusement. He had gone from being the star of the show to the butt of the joke, and he couldn't help but admire Taylor's fearless spirit. After the interview ended, they stepped off the set, and Travis turned to her, still trying to comprehend what had just happened. Seriously, though, a cheeseburger. You've got to be kidding me.